So, I received this huge box from XP Pen. They sent me one of their bigger screen tablets for review. And that's exactly what this video is about. The tablet is called the XP Pen Artist. 24 Pro. We are gonna unbox it, check out its features, test it out for drawing and painting and see how it performs. A quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video but they did send me this product for review. All of my thoughts and my opinions about this device will be my own. Without wasting any more time, let's do this. So when we open this big box, first we get another smaller sized box which contains all the accessories like cables and stuff. But let's put that aside for now, we'll open that again in a bit. Next, there is this huge tablet. I thought it wasn't a good idea to lift it up from the box so I had to lay it on the table while pulling it out. It's kinda heavy as well. Here we go, it's wrapped in plastic. Let's carefully get rid of these things and see how it looks. Oh man, it's heavy. It has a really nice built-in stand, so you don't have to purchase this separately. It looks pretty solid, good quality. So using this clip type thing on the top, you can adjust the stand on various angles. It will lock itself to different positions. So if you want to make it stand up straight, you can do that. And if you prefer setting it on a lower angle, that is certainly doable as well. So let's set the tablet here for now and check out what's in the smaller box. By the way, I don't really like the quality of packaging of this box. It feels a little cheap but anyways you're not gonna use the box anyway so it's more important what's in the box and in the box of course we have a glove nice and soft fabric fits in the hand perfectly and then we have a power cord strong and sturdy oh and look there's an extra pen it's without a nib but no worries because we do get extra nibs in that cylindrical looking pen case which looks like a gun suppressor whether you agree or not then we have all sorts of other cords, more power cords, a USB-C cord, power brick and type C to regular USB cord. We also have this little thing that I don't know anything about and I am too lazy to look up the internet for it. And another cord. God, there are so many cords. So yeah, this is an HDMI cord. And then comes this suppressor thing. Let's open it up. And there we have it. And it has a nib. The two pens are identical. If you lose one of them or someone steps on it or you can't draw hands so you smash this pen on the wall, do not worry. Because you have another one. Please don't smash the other one though. Let's open the other side of the pen case. And here we have different nibs. You can replace a nib whenever it wears out. I think it depends on what kind of pen pressure do you work with and how often do you use your tablet. And in this little packet we have an instruction manual, some stickers I think, a piece of cloth to clean your screen, a warranty card, stuff like that. Alright, so now let's move on to how we have to set up this thing. If you are connecting it to a laptop that supports Type-C, you'll need this cable. And if you are like me, relying on the good old USB, then this is the cable for us. Connect one end into your PC and the other end into the back of the tablet. Then plug in the HDMI and power adapter as well and you should be good to go oh no but wait hold your horses before you jump into making that doodle in Photoshop make sure that the drivers are installed I mean come on you probably all know these little things and now let's talk about the tablet itself so this tablet has a 2k screen which means it's pretty high res and has a nice sharp display the colors look vibrant and beautiful. Overall, I was quite impressed. On the sides here, we have a lot of buttons. So there are 10 buttons and one dial wheel on each side of the tablet. Overall, 20 customizable buttons, which is insane. But I draw with my right hand, so practically I only use the buttons on the left. I never use the buttons on my right hand side. So why are these buttons on both sides? Maybe it's because whether you draw with your right hand or the left hand, you always have these controls on the side of your non-dominant hand. The build quality of this thing is pretty decent to be honest. It has kind of a matte finish, a little bit textured, the buttons don't feel clunky, thank god. 
The wheel appeared to be a little loose but maybe that's just how it usually is, I'm not sure. But it is very well calibrated nonetheless. So if you use that to increase or decrease the brush size, you can do it very precisely. On the top here we have some other touch keys, which include the power button with a blue light beneath it when you turn it on. Then you have the other keys that let you adjust different settings like brightness, gamma, color temperature, language, etc. To be honest, I never needed to change any of these settings except for the brightness. But it's nice to have this kind of control. What about the pen, man? Let's talk about the pen. 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which means you should have a pretty good control and precision. It also has 60 degrees tilt support. The shape of the pen is very similar to Wacom pens, it has a rubber grip which makes it easy to handle. It's not very heavy, quite lightweight and of course it's battery free. The surface is good to draw on, as good as most screen tablets. The pressure sensitivity works great as well. So if I press lightly, I have a thin line and if I apply pressure as I draw, it gets thicker. I have had no problems drawing on this device, but I did notice some jitter. Especially when I am drawing the lines slowly, there's a slight jitter in my strokes. Kinda like a wavy pattern. But it doesn't happen when I draw slightly faster. I tried different brushes as well. They all work great and feel really good on this large screen. It's like painting on a big canvas. To be honest, I have never drawn on such a large screen before. It's a new experience for me. I do feel like this bigger screen takes a lot more effort to draw, since your arm is making big wide movements. But I love the fact that you can see and work on all the little details in your painting on this large display. Also, since the screen is very big, if you are a PC user, maybe this will replace your monitor. Cause when you are not working on it, you can make it stand up straight and use it as your primary display device. Alright, so my final thoughts. This tablet is so much fun to use. Thanks to its really big and high resolution screen, I could really see the little details in my painting and work on them on a level that I was unfamiliar with before. When I mostly draw, I have my left hand on the keyboard, but since it's a big tablet, the keyboard is pretty much not an option here anymore. But to replace it, I have these buttons on the tablet which will take some time to get used to, but they are quite handy. The surface feels great to draw on, I didn't really have any issues issues while drawing or painting didn't experience significant lag either. The slower lines were not as precise as I expected them to be. They do have some jitter but it didn't bother me very much while painting. And it shouldn't bother you much as well I think unless you are really working like a draftsman and very very precise lines are a must for you. In terms of value for money, I think this tablet is totally worth it. Especially considering that the big tablets like this from Wacom costs a lot more. So that was my review for XP Pen artist 24 pro i hope you liked it if you want to check this out or want to buy it for yourself or an artist friend of yours i will put a link down in the description i also asked xp pen if they could give a discount to my viewers which they agreed to so now if you use the code mentioned in the description you'll also get a discount you're welcome if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, hit that notification bell for future video updates. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.